What's up guys, Two Old Serbin back out here. Look, I'm geared up. I'm not making video about a car or some stupid foam cannon. Today we're going to go out and ride. Can't wait to make a video. Feels so good to be back. Um, I left you guys for a long time. So dumb of me to stop riding. I lost a lot of my sharpness and stuff. But felt like going out for a ride today. Beautiful weather. You know, it really feels like deja vu. It feels like a year ago or two years ago. Um, like, doing this. It's crazy. It's It's been two years, over two years since I've had this bike. Just about two years, a little over. But, um, unfortunately, the battery is dead. So we're going to have to bump start it. So you guys are probably going to watch me do that. And probably can roast me down in the comments for being really bad at it. Whew. Let's get a good run. Get some good speed. Yeah, let's do this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, let's try it one more time, guys. No! Oh, oh, my God. oh gosh. I need to up my cardio. Alright guys, here we go. Whoa, popped into a wheelie. Oh man. Jeez. Whew. That was hard. Alright guys, today's video is five reasons why riding a motorcycle makes you a better driver and basically all situations, all vehicles, automobiles, everything out there. We got five reasons for you guys to explain how riding a motorcycle will make you a better driver in cars, motorcycles, boats, planes, whatever, by riding one of these guys. All right, starting off number one, first reason, riding a motorcycle, you always recognize dangers and risks constantly whenever you're riding you account for dangers and like risks and risk and reward you know that's what it's called they talk about this a lot when you um, drive or ride or anything there's risk and reward for every decision you make so by riding a motorcycle you be begin to realize that like a lot of dumb maneuvers um, driving super aggressively not looking um, before you change lanes etc like not by you're constantly realizing the risk that's involved. And it's, you know, usually a really big risk because we're just on motorcycles. We don't have a cage surrounding us. So we get to see that, you know, driving crazy and, you know, you can still drive spirited and stuff, but in like a smart way. But with motorcycles, it teaches you how to do that. But if you just drive a car, you don't realize how vulnerable you are until you hop on a motorcycle with nothing, you know, Except the helmet, maybe some gear. You just got the air around you and the concrete cars that can hit you. So you start to realize risk and reward. So that really helps you with becoming a better car driver because you learn to drive in a manner that you can still have fun, but you realize the risk and reward. All right, reason number two why riding a motorcycle makes you a much better driver is that when you ride a motorcycle, you're forced to predict situations and predict you know, what can happen to you. Look at that view, it's beautiful. When you're riding, you're always scanning, looking at different, you know, areas, left, right, you know, checking behind, to the sides, and everything. And you're predicting that, like, something bad's gonna happen. And so you create an escape plan, you know, every time you ride. You're always, always, always looking, you know, to make sure you have an escape plan, and that you predict almost that cars are trying to hit you, and they're gonna pull out and hit you. And that makes you, you know, it's, 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 I think it saved me from many crashes and, you know, possible crashes on a car on the road because it causes you to be so alert and attentive that, you know, you just become a much better driver. So, you know, hop on a motorcycle and I promise you'll, you'll see these things start to pop up. All right, number three. Number three is kind of like a weird one maybe you probably wouldn't have predicted. 
and it's the fact that you, you become more attentive to your vehicle, you know, your motorcycle, your car, or whatever you're in. So when you drive a motorcycle, it's so important that it's in good working order and that everything is, you know, working the way it is. The chain's okay, it's lubricated, tire pressure's at the right pressure, you know, your handling, your controls are on, on point because, you know, it can really be life or death if they're not on point. So, whenever you drive a car or any other vehicle, you notice that you start to become much more attentive and you're constantly listening to you know the car you're driving um, seeing how it handles how it's accelerating and I've noticed that since you know driving motorcycles whenever I drive you're just you're constantly subconsciously um, you know always just listening to your car feeling it and so you'll know if something you know goes wrong I think before someone who doesn't ride motorcycles just because that's so subconscious you know ingrained in your brain you got to always make sure your bikes you know performing at its best all right guys number four of these reasons is you get to learn your limits a lot easier on a motorcycle and especially with the dual sport such as this you know I highly recommend before anyone gets into motorcycle is having an off-road bike um, and the reason why is because off-road so much more forgivable and you can learn your limits so you, you learn about you know braking um, the limits of braking where you lose traction handling how you know how fast you can go into corners etc and with a car you know those penalties and consequences can be a lot higher and ex even with a you know a road bike those consequences are pretty high so having a bike that's off-road dual sport you know adventure styled bike I think it's important to maybe even just have like a little dirt bike that you can toy around on because you learn those limits and you know that that's how people become very advanced riders and these expert riders is that they, they push their limits they may crash they they may not you know you think crash you know it always annoys me when people like think someone's a bad driver because they crash and in certain situations I think it can be but when you're pushing your limits in a safe environment I think it's very beneficial because you remember what you did wrong and then you just benefit from that and you grow to another level so you know that's a huge thing that motorcycles provide is you realize you learn these limits um, you know as these you know most motorcycles don't have all these technological you know computer controlling everything like a car nowadays so you really get to learn the limits and it's more of a barbaric uh, mechanical experience that greatly improves any driving situation that you're in. Right, number five to finish this list is you know adverse weather conditions whenever you're on a motorcycle you're exposed to all the elements if it's raining everything is so magnified what rain does to you in this weather you only have two tires for traction you got to be extremely careful braking cornering following distance etc so you know we see you know even if you're riding in the snow possibly you get caught in a snowstorm or um, you know it's really hot you learn to drive in these adverse environments that you would never experience in a car you know with the car you're closed in with the cage you might have air conditioning heated seats etc but when you're on a motorcycle you're completely exposed so I think it's very important because it puts you in this uncomfortable environment that prepares you. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember older videos, but me and Upbeat, there used to be a huge dirt mound right over here that we'd ride up and down, but man, good memories. Wow, they expanded this parking lot. But basically what I was saying is, is it puts you in this very adverse environment that's you know difficult to drive in. So when you already face something that's, geez, I left my blinker on. When you already experience something that's extremely difficult to drive in or, you know, it makes car driving just that much easier and you're that more, much more attentive and it just results in a better driving experience, safer driving experience for everyone. Because you've already experienced something so extreme that when it's brought down, it's just like, okay, I got this. This is no problem. I've experienced so much worse, you know, riding in extreme rain maybe you know riding in snow or riding off road and experiencing you know bad traction there's so many situations where motorcycles result in just an amazing driving improvement for anyone and that's why I really think you know motorcycles might intimidate a lot of people but at the end of the day with practice with confidence with the right gear the right instructor I think by driving a motorcycle it can make you better in many aspects of driving and you know fellow motorcycle riders completely understand this I'd love to hear what you guys think down below how motorcycle riding has helped you guys 
and I'm so happy to be back guys. If you have any vid uh, recommendations, please leave them down below. I'd love to hear them. Catch you guys